right, we're gonna play a couple more, and then let's have some drinks. What is gender dysphoria and what does it feel like? I guess in the most simplistic way to put it would be a misalignment, you know, realizing that it's in a really existential way that the way people perceive you and the way you realize people perceive you is not the way that you feel inside. For me, like, when I was way younger, I had no resources whatsoever. You know, I probably didn't hear the word transgender until I was probably 16 or 17. And I remember reading about my first, reading, the first time I read about somebody transitioning, I was probably like 12 or 13, and that was um, Renee Richards, the tennis player. And, um, you know, just, there was no, nowhere I could turn. No, nowhere, like, I, you know, never heard of HRT, never heard of anything like that. So now, like, you know, with, with, with what's out there and available, you know, on the internet or with support groups and stuff like that, there's just a whole world of information out there. I think it's amazing. I think yeah. it's really brave. I think it sends a great message to people all over the world that like just to be comfortable and be proud of who you are no matter what anybody is going to think or say about you. I'm really happy for her. I'm really happy that she's happy with herself and I mean it's all that matters. So. I think that you know coming out has made me a lot better of a person. It's made me a lot more less stressed out of a person not having to compartmentalize my life. I don't know realizing I guess in a lot of ways that that you shouldn't underestimate people and that people will be there to support you and, and really can surprise you in life is a big lesson that I learned. Yeah, someone I look up to, for example, is Laura Jane Grace, who is the lead singer of a band called Against Me. This one is going to be about the topic of the Rolling Stone article and Laura Grace is coming out from the band Against Me. There's honestly just so much I have to say about this. Like, um, there's so much feeling inside of me about this. And I'm proud of you, Laura. I'm glad that you're doing what you're doing. The music community industry accepts her, her fans accept her, her wife accepts her, her kid, her fan, everybody. And it's just like, the story just gets more fun, like the more pieces you get to it. That would be awesome if, if I was part of the last generation of explainers. <laughs> um, that would be an amazing thing. And I think that that's, you know, a part of really the point of going out and, you know, doing interviews like this or putting yourself out there and making yourself available to answer the questions and make it represented in the media to the point where it just becomes commonplace. You know, I mean, like that people get it, that there's people of all kinds of different gender, of all kinds of different sexual orientation, and, and none of it really matters that human beings are human beings, and no one should care. <laughs>
hurdles can trans people face after coming out. Um, but there's definitely, you know, the possibility that your family isn't going to accept you. There's a possibility that you'll face discrimination discrimination in the workplace. There's the possibility that you're going to be turned down for health care. Um, there's the possibility of violence, um, isolation, depression. The statistic is that 41% of all transgender people will attempt suicide in their life. Um, and in general, you know, it's just it can be it can be a scary thing. There's so many people out there from all different walks of life doing such incredible things who that just so happens to be one small part of their life, you know, but there are really positive stories out there and I think that representing that and, and kind of building that community is really important work that needs to be done. If I could say anything to Laura, I would say um, thank you for being brave and being yourself because it's, it's hard for a lot of people to do that, even in just limited ways. Um, and that's such a big way um, to come forward and it, it helps so many, it inspires so many. So just thank you so much. It's unbelievably brave and wonderful to see.